Okay, last night just before I went to bed, I put my tape measure on the table here. And the reason being is to remind me, one of the viewers had wanted to know what was the, I think he wanted to know about the height of my case because he's just finished building his uh, Bismarck and he was wanting to build a case. So, <laughs> yeah, this is just to remind me to go over and measure it. Now I know we we did talk about this uh, months ago, when especially when I was building the case, went into detail about the size, but there is something that I want to say about it. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about, or to, not to forget to mention that is, is that uh, apparently a lot of the, <clears throat> excuse me, creators like myself are having problems with people's comments being deleted right after they've they've been put up and um, more than one person has had their comments recently deleted that they have made on my channel and I have no explanation for this other than what other what other creators are saying if you were to if you were to type in the Google search box why are my comments being deleted there's there's other people that have put up videos about uh, you know what, what what they think it is now I don't know what it is. I think that in all likelihood the algorithm that, that, that reads your comments uh, is, is too sensitive and it's, uh, it's flagging or, or, uh, or, or removing comments that it, that it shouldn't. So I just wanted to mention that. If you put up a comment and for some reason it, it, uh, it got deleted, it was not me. It was something in YouTube. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm kind of all for censorship because I think it's probably, we're better off being, being too uh, uh, safe than sorry, if you know what I mean. Uh, error on the side of caution, uh, that's my feeling. Uh, but maybe uh, they need to give it a little tweaking here and uh, uh, you know, just make it so that it's not quite so sensitive. Uh, okay, so we got that out of the way. Now let's go over to the case and uh, measure it and I'll say what I want to say about that. Oh, and there is one more thing. I knew there was three things I wanted to talk about this morning, so i got two more to go. Okay, I'm just using my point and shoot here, so I'm hoping this is going to turn out alright. And I'm just going to give you the, uh, the height first. Now we've, we've done all this before. Okay, it is uh, about 184 centimeters. 184 centimeters. Or six feet. Now, here's, here's the thing. When I bought this plexiglass, I, uh, it came in here in Canada, it comes in sheets four feet by eight feet or 48 inches by 96 inches. Now I made the mistake of not taking advantage of the full 48 inches, whatever that works out to in centimeters. I cut it down because at the time I thought, I thought whoops, I thought it would be a good idea to cut it down. And I, I cut I cut it down by two inches. It's only it's only 46 cent, uh, inches. I should have I should have done the full 48 because now that I'm, I'm thinking about maybe having four ships in here, I want as much I want as much distance from here to here as possible. Uh, and also, I uh, I would have uh, made made it slightly longer because at the time I was thinking, well, uh, I, I, if I ever get the, Yamo, the Yamato in 200 scale, which, which at that time I thought was the longest battleship, I calculated out so that it would be just enough, to, it would just nicely fit it. But I have since learned that the Iowa class ships are actually longer than the Yamato. And like the, the Missouri and the Iowa that are the trumpeter cells, 
in 200 scale. Uh, they will just barely fit in my case the way it is. And the way it is right now, inside, inside dimensions, are 136 centimeters. Now you want to make it a little bit bigger than that. Uh, 136 centimeters or 53 and a half. I, I would make the inside of your case uh, uh, probably uh, 55 inches. Uh, whatever that works out to in centimeters. Uh, yeah. And, and then uh, I got sort of a, a bookshelf area down in the bottom there. But the main thing I wanted to say was, if you're doing it for 200 scale, keep in mind, now I know, I think, I think, it's, I think your name is Brian. Now Brian, I think that uh, you just said you just finished the, the Bismarck, but you might want to build, a, you know, the, the Iowa class, you know, like the Missouri or the Iowa. Um, you say you're going to want to have it a little bigger. Okay, I think I beat this to death. Now here is the third thing that I wanted to mention, and that is that when you're watching my channel, or you're watching my video today, if you uh, scroll down into, into the comments section, you'll see the description. Well, you click on Show More, and uh, then you will find a link. And if you click on that link, it will take you to another viewer who has been commenting for several months now in, in my channel, and he has just completed his HMS Hood uh, 200 scale from Trumpeter. And uh, yeah, it, it's worth seeing, so uh, you might want to take a look at that. I, I usually don't, uh, uh, you know, uh, plug somebody else's uh, uh, videos, but uh, he's done a really nice job here. It's worth seeing. This morning's time lapse of the sunrise, I did pretty much the same way. Now, I did have one little interesting thing happen just before I got started. One of the legs on my tripod started to slowly collapse, so I guess I'm going to have to rig up some sort of locking pins on that. That won't be too hard. I think I'll just drill little tiny holes and cut some nails and just, just pin, pin it. Yeah, yeah you'll, I'll show you. At least I think I will. Anyway, nothing special here. No use belaboring this. We'll get a special one yet, I hope. Okay, let's make ourselves a little bit of room here. I've just come up from the workshop. And I'll show you the problem. All right. This is, this is my, my main tripod. In fact, at the moment, it's my only tripod. Now, what was happening was, this leg here was, uh, was sliding, even though this was clamped shut. Now, there is adjustment screws on these things. However, I've had the experience whereby, when I've tried to tighten it up before, like this one here, the plastic broke. Now maybe I got myself just a little bit too exuberant and tightened it up too much. So I had to try and glue it and tie it together with twine and it, it seems to be not too bad. It slides slightly, but I did adjust the screws on all three of these. So hopefully our problem solved. But my thinking before was, what I would do is I would I would drill a hole like like through there, and then just put a little nail through it, like a finishing nail or something. Um, and that's that's something that maybe I'm going to have to do if if these break. It's, the clamp is just plastic; it's not metal. But you know, you get what you pay for. This is uh, was not a real expensive tripod. It might look like it, but it wasn't. Anyway. Uh, once again, uh, uh, you're getting more information than you need.
Maybe I should be using different tweezers here. Yes, I should be. You know, these are very, very hard to squeeze together for some reason. The spring is extra strong. Or maybe my fingers are getting extra weak. Okay, let's just pick it up here with my fingers. I don't like touching this uh, flat paint with my fingers because it'll... I think that's going to fit okay. Are those positioning pins going to fit in there? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to fit. Okay. Let's uh, get some glue going here. You know what? It might be a good idea if I was to take this off. There we go. I don't think we need too much, do we? No. Come on. I don't hurry up, this glue is going to be set. It won't drop down in the hole. Come on, what's wrong here? Maybe my fingers. I'm going to have to poke that out. Now, where was that other spot that we saw? Well, this isn't it. But I remember yesterday noticing that it seems that when I painted over this uh, repair job, I didn't, uh, there was a little place where the paint didn't get in. I'm sort of using the uh, paint here as like a, a filler, you might say. At least that's the plan. And paint over this little piece of flashing here, that might help, or it might make it worse. Now I'm hoping that this is going to just sort of fall down in there and I don't have to do any forcing and scratching. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I thought it was. 
Okay, now we'll just straighten it up. How's that look? Should it come a little bit more to the right on the bottom there? So let me check the monitor. Oh, it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm just thinking here now. We don't need to put any more glue on than we absolutely need to. So, maybe the thing to do would be to just glue it just underneath right there. There's already some uh, CA glue glinting, so I, I would think that that would be the best place to go. Now, let's not uh, break off our little brackets here. I think I can probably lean it on there. It should be all right. Yeah, we'll prop it up. Okay, now the plan is to just be able to come in and put a little drop whoops, right up under there without accidentally moving the ladder. You know, it almost looks like it's not quite straight, but you know what, if I can't tell, it's good enough, right? Okay, let's get ourselves repositioned here. Okay, now remember, don't move the ladder. You just want to put a little bit on there. Okay, now the other ladder, A24, the longer one, it goes on the opposite side, sort of in a similar way, although I can see that it doesn't have to drop down in a slot, I think it goes over top of this part right here, and at least that's, that's what I think. Yeah, there, there, there does not appear to be a... I have to keep changing my eyes here. Yeah, there, there, isn't, there is no slot there for it to, to drop through. So that means it goes over top of this part right here. Okay, let's let gravity be our friend. Noticing a scratch down there, maybe if I turn this over I think these tweezers I'm using are uh, too sharp. My goodness, that doesn't seem to want to fit very good. Is it supposed to go further down or? So let me check the plans here. How is it supposed to go? Okay, it goes down. A24, I'm sure I got the right one. It almost seems like it's too long. I'm going to get different tweezers. Now these ones are a little bit less sharp.
Okay, I'm wondering if these, if this is supposed to go, you know, did I get the wrong ladder here? This doesn't seem to want to fit. Okay, let's check this out here. I found one of the best things for removing blue tack is uh, this blue tack. Sometimes it takes a while, but okay, so that one goes there okay i think what is supposed to happen is that ladder is supposed to go up in here or something to to point with here be very careful not to break anything off of here okay the ladder is supposed to come come up the post and then it goes in here okay so that means that the ladder should go on after this piece goes on now how, how can I set this? Almost, there's no way I can set it down now. I have to put the blue tack back on. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can really set it down on here unless... Maybe I could do something like this somewhere. It'd be just my luck, it'll fall off. No, I'm gonna have to use the blue tack again. Okay. Now the ladder has to go up this post. Now if you remember we we drilled we drilled these uh, holes out just a little bit bigger so that this should fit together there okay now we want to make sure that when we do glue this down that it is going to be horizontal with this piece on the bottom. And it, it pretty much is. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much is. Maybe could be down just a little bit on the nose. Or is this the nose? Okay, enough looking at it. Let's uh, recompose here and, and glue it down. Okay. Now... Maybe I should have uh, 
prepared myself first. Okay, we managed to not bend anything as near as I can tell. I do believe though that I'm going to have to call it quits for this afternoon. If I work on it this evening, once again I'll, uh, I'll bid you it. I'm pretty sure we got this thing straight. It, it, looks, it looks good to me. We'll put our ladder on tomorrow. Um, we didn't turn the page though, did we? But we almost could. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>